And again, going kind of from left to right, we learn about base views, we learn about projected views. The next one is section view. Now, as I move my cursor, it says select a parent view. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this is my parent view. Now, I wanna slice right through the center of this, and I get this question often. Well, I wanna draw a center line or something like that. Well, guess what? You don't have to. If you just kinda of hover over this line, you'll see that little triangle up here, and that's actually a midpoint. It's finding the middle of that edge, and I can do that on any edge. You can see right here, we're projecting off of that guy, okay? It's really cool. I can even grab, you know, to radiuses. So this little point here is actually the center of that curved radius. So you don't really have to do a lot of projections and stuff. So I'm going to just go ahead and click up there. And then come down here. You can kind of see it automatically snaps it to vertical. And I could do multiple, you know, like Z bends and stuff like that. But in this case, I'm going to just hit enter. And you'll notice I get this shaded representation and notice the direction of my section view arrows. Depending on which side I place this view, my arrows are going to flip. So if I place it to the left, we're going to be looking into the part. If I place it to the right, we're kind of looking back into the part. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to place it over here somewhere and say OK. And now we're basically, it's kind of like we removed this whole left side of this view and we're looking at a flat representation of it. And that's what we're seeing right here. You'll notice it labels it, um, tells it what scale it is, and it creates this nice little hatch pattern. Well, here's another tip for you. If you select that hatch pattern, I think if I can double click on it, I can come in and change what that looks like if I want to. So you can kind of see, you could come in and change to these different standards that we have in here, these different ANSI standards. I could also change the scale factor, let's just say 0.7, and you'll see it makes the lines a little bit closer together. And I can even change you know, the angle of these lines if I wanted to. Um, so you have the ability to edit any kind of a hatch if you want to. I'm going to undo back. <laughs> so there we go.